Now we're on page 21 of your workbook, and this is an example of an inferior wall myocardial infarction. And um, important, as I mentioned in an earlier presentation, to go through this in a, in a systemic, um, systematic way, rather. So I always start by looking at lead groupings, um, anatomically contiguous leads. So you'll recall that leads 2, 3, and AVF are anatomically contiguous, and they reflect uh, what's happening in the inferior wall of the left ventricle. And uh, the left ventricle is fed by the RCA in most humans. And um, right off the bat in lead two, we have the baseline here. J point is elevated about two, maybe three millimeters. Um, lead three, we have baseline here. J point's elevated. And AVF, we have, again, the baseline. And the baseline is the TP line. So from the previous T to the following P, that's, that's your reference. And that's your baseline. And then the J point is right here. So we have, um, uh, we need to look at the other components of the ECG as well, obviously. But uh, without any ST elevation, the other leads, what we have here is an inferior wall MI, an acute inferior wall MI with uh, injury pattern. And um, so let's look at the other leads anyway. Um, in uh, uh, V1, we have a little bit of ST depression. And if you'll recall from uh, one of the early presentations, when you see an inferior wall MI um, with ST depression in V1 and V2, that suggests that there may be a posterior wall infarction as well. Uh, and again, if you want to be sure, and if it's you know, if you've got time and it's practical, you can uh, put on leads V7, V8, V9 around the back on the left side at the posterior axillary line, the uh, mid um, scapular line, and the vertebral border in line with uh, V6, and um, see if there's evidence of ST elevation in those posterior leads. So it looks like posterior wall involvement here. Um, the other leads, I don't see ST elevation here, and I don't see ST elevation in there. I don't see elevation there either. So what we have here is an inferior wall MI with some possible posterior wall involvement. 